907. That was the Imagine Dragons right there with I Bet My Life. It's finally Friday, final show, and this is uh, my final hour. I'm senior Aaron Kellen Carr, and uh, man, it's been a pleasure. And I'm not even going to get into all that right now because I got a special guest in the studio for the Airman and Family Ready Center. I got Miss Lashana Larkins in the studio. What's up, Lashana? Good morning. How are you? You know, uh, you know, it's one of the things. I, I keep saying the, the best way I can say it is bittersweet. That's all. Yeah, you no get short on clean. time. Yeah, May 30th, I'm flying out. Um, but this will be the last time I'm on the air. Last time, you guys, I know there's people like, yes. Oh, my goodness. We finally got <laughs> no, rid of No, that is not the case. That's well, not the case. Sean, you just told me that a moment ago. You said, Kellen, we, we, just, we couldn't wait for this day. We've been looking forward to <laughs> that it. That was Tom. Tom said Ooh, that. Oh, that was Tom. Yeah. So, um, no, what do I owe you the pleasure, though? Like, seriously, you... Last show, you decided you, you pop in? Yeah, and... I decided I'd pop in, come see you. Um, of course, you know how instrumental you have been to helping the Airmen and Family Readiness Center get out all the information regarding the various programs and events that we have going on. So, uh, again, just like everybody else, you know, we truly appreciate all that you have done um, and just can't thank you enough and wish you the best in your future endeavors. I'm um, sure we will hear great things about you. So, again, Kellen, thank you so much for everything. I still remember the number at Airman Fame Red- Readiness Center. What is it? What 225-8725. Is it? What's our secondary number? 225-8726. Woo! Yes. I, d- it, I accomplished it, it, my it t- mission. It took me a while <laughs> to get that number. I used to get it confused with my barber's number. Yes. Are uh, you going to coupon? What? Huh? Remember how we used yeah, to talk about? I, no, no, nah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, what not, for real? You're not like, gonna do that. You really gonna go there right now? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not cute, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, oh, we got man. you to tap. So okay, well, what else? Kinda. We, yeah. So, so I go still talking more. about our move. We have an EFMP movie night tonight. Okay. So, you got, y'all got plenty of stuff yeah, going we on. Yeah, got then. a lot going on. Look so, at her. See, she I came here you, to make I plugs. Thought you, I thought you were gonna try to say something about our movie. You know how you always kind of yeah. What? Okay. So moving along. Moving along. You're not showing up, are you? Or are Marley and me? Or my Girl, any of these sad no, movies that'll no, make children no. cry. <laughs> no, Lashana, though, seriously, uh, you and everybody at the Airman yes. and Family Readiness Center, you, you've been the face of the Airman and Re- Family Readiness Center, you know, and the voice. The voice and yeah. so uh, thank you for coming on each week. And it's been fun. Like, it, in the time yes. you brought in Frank was the best. Yeah. You brought in your husband? <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. We clowns. Shout out to my husband. Woo-hoo. Lieutenant Larkins. Lieutenant Big Larkins. shout out to him. So uh, thank you, though, Lashana. I do, I do appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right, well, folks, stay tuned. We're going to have kind of an abbreviated version of the Average Joe's. Got some of the Joe's in the studio. We're going to be talking about some of the hottest topics in sports and also talking about a big concert going down. The Plain White Tees going to be playing tomorrow and on Sunday at Yokosuka and at Sugi. Stay tuned for more information on that. We've got Spring Fest coming up, Open House Play Day, and a, a message from Mr. Cecil Breeze coming up here in a moment, so stay tuned. It is 9-16. Kellen here and also joined in the studio by uh, some of our Average Joes. You know, we did Average Joes every Friday there for the last couple years. And I'm joining the studio and on the line. I got D-Mac over here to my left. What's up, D-Mac? I'm doing good. How you doing today? Man, doing fantastic, brother. Right. Bittersweetness yes, right here. Yes, it is. It is. And then we got my man Patrick in here. What's up, Patrick? Hey, it's Friday, the weekend. Uh, the, uh, the weekend is here. Finally, Friday. We also got Blue in the studio with us. What's up, Blue? The Bears, the Bulls, and the Blackhawks, and the Cubs. We'll <laughs> just throw it out there. Honored <laughs> to be here on your last show. It's great. <laughs> and uh, R. Smooth on the line. What's up, R. Smooth? Hey, what's going on? I'm a, I'm a below average Joe. You, you're a below average Joe? <laughs> <laughs> so, listen, gentlemen, uh, the big thing going on right now, well, there's two big things right now. The NFL draft, which yeah. is on television right now. Uh, Jameis Winston just went with the first pick to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And uh, I'm going to start with you, R. Smooth, on the phone. What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Jameis Winston, first pick. And, and the popularity. That was a popularity pick. Popularity pick? Yeah. You think he's a Florida boy that just... That's it. Florida boy, it's going to raise ticket ticket sales, going to raise jersey sales. Hope 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 he turns around and, and does really well in the NFL because I think he has what it takes to be a good quarterback. All right, D Mac, what are you over here? You, you I I just don't agree with them being the number one. I thought he was going to drop at least to the bottom of the first or even out of the first. I was hoping for that. I don't like him. I don't like his character. I uh, he has accomplished a few things: Heisman Trophy winner, whatnot, national champ. But uh, he said a few things. Like, I mean, he has. I mean, if you want to be a college quarterback, those are the things that you want to. Jamarcus Russell also do that. Though? Jamarcus yeah. Russell did too. I Man, look where he's did, at. Did he win national championship and Heisman? With uh, with LSU, LSU yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. But uh, I think Jameis is going to be a bust for Tampa Bay. Right. Big bust. What do you think, Patrick? I think it's a an iffy pick. He's he's got some things to prove. He's got some maturity to gain. He needs to prove that he's worthy of it. 
All right, and blue. Hey, the Bucks got more problems than a math book, um, and I don't think any one person is going to change that. And uh, but I mean, he's probably going to put some butts in seats, and uh, he's a he's a local boy, so that should be good. Absolutely, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of our smooth on this. It's like Manziel. I didn't like Manziel in college. I thought he's cocky, he's this and that. But you know, once he got to the NFL, it was like so many people were rooting against him that I couldn't help but just root for him. At that point, even though I didn't really care for him, it was like, yeah, I hope he turns around. I hope he does well. And he really didn't. So we'll see how that plays out. He's still got time. But yeah, uh, the other big thing, though, is Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather fight. Uh, this is the fight we've been waiting for for five years. Is this fight going to bring boxing back? And even if it doesn't bring it back, who? how do you think this is going to impact? I mean, are you going to watch it, DMAC? Well, I'm not going to be able to watch it because I'll be grilling. You're not going to be able to, but you would if you could. I would if I could. And I would be definitely going for Manny Pacquiao because I just want Floyd Mayweather to shut up. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think this is necessarily going to bring boxing back to where everybody wants to view it all the time. I think it's still on the downslide, and uh, I don't know if, if Floyd Mayweather wins, he goes out a champ, he goes out everything. I mean, undefeated, and whatnot. But I really want Manny to get him. I really do. That's just my outlook on it. Patrick, no interest whatsoever. Oh my goodness! This this is not Ali Frazier, Ali Foreman, Frazier Foreman. Back then, there were three channels you could watch, and everybody was glued to it. Now, there are 979 channels. Who cares? <laughs> All right, and Blue. I'm going with uh, the USA here, so I'm going to go Floyd Mayweather. I just think he's a better boxer pound for pound. Um, you know, not to say that Manny uh, is not an accomplished boxer, but I just think Floyd's going to get him, and I don't think it's going to go more than five rounds. Our Smooth. You hearing this? Um, yeah, I, I, I'm still here. I know you. You playing uh, Pachinko? I don't what think, are you doing? I don't. I don't think this. <laughs> man, <I'm> a, <laughs> man, I got the GPS talking to me. Japanese. I don't even know what she's saying. <laughs> All right, smooth. So what do you? What do you got? Uh, you know what? I think this fight is not as much as it was. You know, three or four years ago. I think if they would have fought back then, it could have brought, brought back boxing. But it, I don't think it's going to now. Uh, I think it's going to be a great fight. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to want to see it. You know. I've waited this long. I deserve to see it now. Uh, but I think it's going to be, uh, I actually think Mayweather is probably going to beat him, which I'm not really rooting for, but I just think that's who's going to win. Absolutely. It, you know, I don't think that one there's one particular fight that can ever bring boxing back. It's going to take a series of great American champions to bring it back with the heavyweight division being ruled by uh, the the Russians for the most part. It's it's one yeah. of those things going to be rather tough. But we're going to keep things going. And we, we just had the second pick go up. Marcus Mariota went to the Tennessee Titans, Oof. the number two pick. So uh, Mariota is going to the Tennessee Titans. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to have more from the Joes here in a moment. And also a message from Cecil Breeze coming up after this song. It's Life of Dylan. Here's Overload. Well, either it works or it doesn't work. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Well, Kellen, it's Cecil Breeze calling you from the land of milk and honey. We're still in Nigeria. We got word from Blue via wire that you wanted us to call in. Kellen, I've got some things I want to put out, some very disturbing things I learned. Well, my lawyer, Keith Mbungo, here in the background, he dug some dirt up on you and your friends back there in your coat. And I'm glad I can tell the world, Kellen. Tell the, go ahead, put your video on YouTube as you usually do. We're still working on that lawsuit. Gonna sue you for everything you've got. Isn't that right, Keith and Mungo? Well, news from Yakota just keeps coming in, Kellen, at a steady pace. I have inside sources there, and boy, oh boy, Pat Coleman, the Bruce Jenner of Yakota, I keep hearing more and more, Kellen. The latest, which I have on good authority, is that he is running the FSSS, the Force Support Spice. Squadron Kellen, he's a dealer and he's a user, dressing up as the woman, Patricia Cole woman. I'm calling you out, Pat. You think you're so tough? Come on out to Abuja, Nigeria. That's where we are, Abuja, Nigeria. Look it up on a map. You have no idea where it is, but come on out, tough guy. Come out and get the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just show your face. Come on, get yeah. Oh, and let's talk about the secret life of Mark Sullivan, or shall I say Mark O. Sullivan? That Anglophile dropped the O from his name and married an English woman to cover up his Irish heritage. Kellen, you can't have a man like that running the O club. He's probably having drinky poos behind the bar. 
Lickety split, Kellen, drinking up a storm. Yeah. Also, Lord Wiggly left his wife in England to come to Nigeria to be with me, to, uh, to be with our team, rather. We're going to host the first Commonwealth Pan-African Championship, Kellen. And Kellen, you I told you, you better take those clips down or else we're going to come and get you. Isn't that right, boys? <laughs> yeah. yeah, get them, get them. Get them. Get them. Okay, message time's over. How do you turn this off? Turn it off for me. I don't know. There, it's off. Are you positive? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's off. Kellen, I left it on. Uh, so, what do you, what do you have to say about, uh, <clears throat> what do you have to say about ruling Abuja, C Cecil? <laughs> oh, yes, Dingo, Abuja. Abuja, give me another sip of that drink, Keith. Abuja will be mine, you know that. Small things start in small places and they grow bigger. They grow harder and stiffer. And I will rule Abuja. That will be my next plan. I don't know. I think you're kind of stupid. Oh! There you go, screaming like a woman again. Ow. Another drink of that. Put that fork down, Keith. Put that fork down. You're not, you're not welcome in Nigeria. I'm welcome wherever I go. I'm a pillar of the community no matter where I am, Keith. You know it and I know it. Is that an ice cream scoop? Put that down. Put that, Keith, put it down. Do not throw it at me, Keith. I'm the best suited to lead, Keith, and you know it. Keith, put again, put the fork down and give me back my pants. You're tuned in to the Average Joe Sports Show by there. Keep it kielbasa, Kanto plane. 9.30, and it is an Average Joe's of sorts. You got the, uh, the old crew back in the studio. And on the line, though, I got my man R. Smooth. Couldn't be in the studio today, but uh, definitely made a point to call in on, on the last show. R. Smooth, you there, brother? Hey, I'm still here. You still? You, I know you got to get ready to go because you're still playing pachinko. But um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do appreciate you taking the time out to, to call in this morning, brother. Hey, I appreciate it. I just want to give a shout out to uh, to you uh, online uh, or on a uh, live air. Uh, great guy. You're even better as a person. You know, the code's gonna miss uh, gonna miss you. You know, it's like that old song Skid Row used to. Now I'm bringing back my age, but you don't know what you got till it's gone. Uh, good luck to you. Best wishes to everything you do because anything you touch is gonna be good. Man, I appreciate uh, that. I wish you the very best. All right, we'll definitely stay in touch, brother. All right, yes, sir. All right, man. Will you uh, enjoy the rest of your day, man? Take care, and uh, I appreciate the kind words. All right, we'll see you guys. See you guys the rest of Joe's. All right, and uh, we got the Joe still in the studio. We got D-Mac, we got Patrick, and we got Blue in the house. And uh, we've been talking uh, about, you know, we talked to Pacquiao, Mayweather. Mm -hmm. The NBA NFL draft is going on right now. Check out AFN Sports or AFN Sports HD channel for uh, more of that. And you can go to myafn.net for your complete TV schedule. If you're not trying to watch the NFL draft, well, there's plenty of other stuff showing on, but I would have it on the sports channel. I don't know. It's just me. But, um... So we got, how many picks have they gone through? They went through three so who, far. Who went third? Uh, what's that guy, uh, Fowler, out of uh, Florida. Devin went, Fowler? Yeah, went to um, Jacksonville, defensive end. All right. And, you know, the other thing going on right now, NBA playoffs. Yes. Oh, yes. And, and Blue, I got to talk to you. Your Bulls are acting like they finally want to close out the series. Yeah, at halftime, they're up by 32 points, getting ready to take out Ooh. Cleveland next. No big deal. <laughs> Please take out LeBron. <laughs> that is a I'm tough test. Tired of LeBron. Listen, D Mac comes on here with the hate. Oh man, <laughs> D Mac. So who are you pulling for? Your the, Dallas my Spurs. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot I'm a Spurs, Spurs fan. Hey, listen to you. you see that? Hey, Patrick rolled his eyes. Well, they close it out I know, today, my man. My man's all Dallas sports, but basketball, he's Spurs. Yeah, you know it's it's a homer. Anytime you can jump on that bandwagon, go for it. Oh, <laughs> come on. Bam, got him. So, uh, so the Spurs, you think they're going to do that with the yeah, Clippers? Yeah, they'll take care of the Clippers. That today. game five was a big one, though. It was. That it was, was a huge. Big, I, I told people if if the Clippers win that, they can they have a chance. Yes. But but if the Spurs would still they're still resilient enough that even if the Spurs went down three two, the Spurs could still come back and win. They're, they're seasoned. But the Clippers, they're they're broken. Yeah. They're done. Chris I, I, Paul's legacy is just going down the toilet like that. Which is unfortunate because Chris Paul yeah. is a very good player in this league, but uh, yeah, I agree. I don't know. I don't think Blake Griffin's taking enough heat though. No, nah, honestly, they, they're as a team in the fourth failed. quarter. He's just he can't. I mean, he went what, what, one for nine in this last game, and the games before that, he was I think three for nineteen in the fourth quarter of this series. Yeah, and, uh, what, it's just not good. What do you think about the uh, the the Memphis Grizzlies right now? I saw the end of the game yesterday, and they looked tough. I mean, I they mean, took Randolph, it to Portland. I mean, 
I like Randolph. So I I don't know. I, I will be I'll be curious to see. I don't know if they can do much against Golden State. Golden State's tough. And, and you know the thing is though, you got that rugged front court with Mark Gasol and Zebo, uh, Zach Randolph down there, and, and they I don't. That's the thing with Golden State. They got Bogut, but outside of Bogut, they're they're a finesse team. And I, Steve Kerr's a genius, so he can do what he wants. You know, they can throw what they want at him, and he'll be able to deal with it. I think. I and he uh, he had a lot of success with the Bulls. <laughs> I, knew, <laughs> I knew somehow it was going to roll back to Chicago. Well, you know, and if you got any uh, doubt about the Bulls taking care of Cleveland, Ditka is suiting up for the next series. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> and uh, so, who else do we have out there? You got in the in the East, Atlanta Hawks and the the Brooklyn Nets. That's Atlanta it. went ahead and went up on that, right? Yeah, they they did. But Three, I mean, I was surprised that they, uh, you know, were even able to. The Nets were able to get one win. Yeah, let alone yeah. two. Because Atlanta and, was strong, very yeah. strong, especially toward the. Uh, they picked down the a stretch. wrong time to slow down. Yes, they did. So I don't know. I mean, the series isn't over. It's I, I don't know that the Nets are going to come back and win the last two. But I mean, just to get that tough of a challenge from an eight seed, it's uh, it's pretty tough. So, Atlanta's got to do more than just mail it in. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I gotta say though, with it, with I know it's still early and it's it's hard to tell. It's pretty wide open. Who do you have coming out of the East? Who do you have coming out of the West? And uh, Patrick, I'll start with you. Oh, uh, who's gonna be? I'm in gonna the NBA say Atlanta out of the East, and I'm gonna say Golden State out of the West, and I'm gonna say Golden State's gonna take it. And I'm gonna say you are high. We are drug testing now. Atlanta. Whoa. Atlanta, really? Yep. They're struggling with Brooklyn. Yep. I think they're okay. gonna amp it up, and I think they're gonna do it. Okay. All right, D Mac. I say the Bulls and the Spurs. Bulls out of the East, Spurs out of the West, Spurs on top. I'm done talking. I don't. To you. I don't mean to sound like a mockingbird. However, that's what I was going to say, and I say the Spurs are going to win just because Greg Popovich is the best coach in the NBA, and he's probably. I mean, the guy takes talent that nobody else has. Uh, you know, like Phil Jackson, you could be like, oh, well, he had all these championships, but I mean, look at the talent he was working with. Popovich takes guys that nobody heard of before, and then they just come out of nowhere because of his coaching style. Yeah, and it, it helps having the best power forward in NBA history. Too. Yeah. I, I think the deal. East is kind of irrelevant this year, as it has been the last several years. I think you're being a hater right now because you're from Denver. Eh. <laughs> we don't have an NBA yeah. caliber I'm team say at right the now, moment. Yeah. Cleveland Cavaliers about to take it. I'm just going to throw that out there. The Nuggets are the Walmart of the NBA. Thank you, Stan Kroenke. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're going to have more from the Joes here in a minute. We'll be wrapping up the final morning cruise control with myself. Here's young rising sons with high. And here's what the Joes have on Don't their mind today. Up. All right. It is now 945. Kellen here back on the show. And, uh, you know, got the Joes in the studio for our last time doing the average Joes type of thing. And uh, we're going to do the, you know, what's on your mind. Um, and we'll go ahead and start off with you, uh, D-Mac. What's up? Well, only thing, uh, one thing that's on my mind right now is uh, this is your last time on the show. This is my last time I'm probably on the show, uh, but definitely the last time on the show with you. And, uh, man, I tell you what, everybody that uh, has been at Yakota for the last couple of years, they can just go back and reflect on all the fun t- all the fun things that you've done. You've been there for the community. You're fun to listen to. You're a funny guy. You're a great friend. I mean, the, the list just goes on and on, and it's been a pleasure coming on here and talking sports with you, calling you at random times and choke you up a little bit, make you laugh, and I wish you the best of luck, and I know you're going to do great things wherever you go, and uh, the world, the sky's the limit, Bubba, and uh, just do your thing, and you'll be you'll be successful no matter what. Hey, you know, it's funny to the people out there listening, like, me and D-Mac didn't even, didn't know each other coming into this. Uh, D-Mac was just a person that would just call into the show. And, uh, you know, every now I get an email from you, too, even talking yeah. about the sports stuff. And I finally was like, man, come on in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let, let's, yeah. Why don't you come on in here? And that's yeah. how I got to know D-Mac. And from that, I, I gained a friend. Just uh, went from a listener to a friend. And, and I can't tell you, man, like you said, many times you, you crack me up. You send me a little messenger or email yeah, yeah. talking some trash yeah. or you say something funny. And, and, and I would share it with the people on air. And, and uh, again, uh, another one of those individuals who made – my job made it not ever feel like a job. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like this thing has been has been great, and I appreciate you so much for that, DMAC. Mm-hmm. Seriously, um, Patrick. Yes, sir. Uh, it's, you know I've been relatively new to this, but I've had a great time getting to know you, talk to you about sports, and let you know where Kansas City really belongs. <laughs> uh, I, I can't say enough either. You know, you, you're the man. You have. Uh, been the glue that holds all this together and you will be sorely missed so i can't wish you anything but the best in the future and the sky is the limit just 
take your natural talents and do what you do, and you don't have to worry about a thing. Much appreciated. Blue. Uh, what's on my mind? The Bears are on the clock. Bulls <laughs> are about to knock out the Bucks and then go take care of Cleveland, and the Blackhawks are getting ready to knock out the Wild. Uh-oh. <laughs> However, Kyle, yeah, I got to get my sports stuff out there. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's It's been a blessing having you uh, in the station. You've made my job as a station manager uh, very easy because having a, a great morning show host, and uh, you've done so well for the community. I've never seen a DJ so ingrained in the community and uh, been able to connect and have so many people request for MC events and everything else. Uh, you know, we, we were in uh, Afghanistan together briefly. I love you, brother. And uh, just go ahead and take care of business. You're going to do well wherever you go. You always can reach back for any advice or anything. I'm here for you. And I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't even want to say goodbye right now, but I just want to, it's been, it's been great. Like, seriously, uh, I can't say that enough. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the music rolling because there's not really much on my mind right now. I just want to play some music for people. And uh, here we are, Kings of Leon. Kellano, I have good time, You get over here! Get over here! Scream oh! ah! ah! like this! This is how I scream! Well, if I couldn't touch you, Kellano, I'd give you little blow tickles all over your body. I would just blow hot air all... Because that can tickle, too, and I can do that pretty hard. <laughs> There's no way. I'm letting another grown man blow tickle me or tickle me in any that That's, that's just odd, okay? I'm just going to say that. That barbell's going to come cracking down right on your skull. Uh, Winner, it, Kellen, the master, Larry Poppins <laughs> Wagner. Kellen, I get so tickled when you give me those big introductions. I feel so important. We just joined a club called the Samurai Swingers. And we're interested in maybe seeing if you want to join in with us. It's a great way to get some cardio in. Breeze Barracks Life is a full-time job. It is 24-7, Kellen. Kellen, what do you mean? As, as if I, what I do is illegal. I'm, no, I'm just... Oh, here we go with the Rambo tour again and the Bulls. No. Just... How delicious is this, Blue? Hashtag winning. All that hair on top of your head is weighing down on your brain. Jack Coleman canceled it, and I had my own strongman challenge and a backward spelling booth at the Friendship Festival. That has everything to do with it. He's the phantom menace of Yakota. I want to talk to you today about getting buff. B-U-F. B- and I stand for Breeze Ultimate Fighting. Uh, we're going to give it a shot. I'm working on some cross-promotion with a very big company back in the States. Okay. Blockbuster um, video. Kellen, I had it on good authority, and I couldn't really bring myself to tell Dingo this until last night, that Duende is using St. John's wort. Kellen, you can overdose on a lot. You can use too much. So we, we went to go pick her up. And she was collapsing, and she yelled out to Chili's, help get these losers away from me. Now, Kellen, we are tracking who these losers might be who might be getting the St. John's Wort. We are tracking this so hard that we're going to find out. And tonight for Freaky Friday, we're getting together all of my Bill Cosby trivia ready to go. We're going to give it a shot and do what these younger people are into and give it a shot. I trained Adam West, Burt Ward, Cesar Romero back in the old Batman show back in the 60s, their stage combat. We have Juan Fiesta de Boca. Yes, he ran the Guatemalan mob out of Akron, Ohio. He did some serious prison time, from what I understand. Kellen, somebody you want to mess around with did time in an all-women's prison. Hey there, Delilah, what's it like in Fusa City? I'm right in your face, and you look so unpretty. Oh, it's what you do to ruin things. Oh, it's what you do to ruin things. I remember when JFK was assassinated. Franklin Roosevelt said it's a day that will live in infamy. (laughs) Things turned a little weird at Club Diesel. I met some guy named Eric. He was wearing some kind of Tinker Tinker Bell outfit, and he hid some kind of... Well, liquid fairy dust saying we're going to go to Never Never Land. Well, Kellen, you start like you to go down these dark rabbit holes, these paths, and I'm trying to be positive here about the bachelor party and, and things coming up, and you just go ahead and you, you want to you wanna, you wanna take a giant dump on everything. HMS TD. Kellen, we're in some kind of police, police custody. Blow well, your nose with a rubber hose. Cry and pot with your piggy snout. Liar, dingo. liar, pants on fire. You That's sound you. ridiculous right now. To my sweet baby Delilah, I noticed that since I've been in England, you packed on a freshman 15. <laughs> Kellen, I just want to say this is the last time I'm calling you. I have to go. Goodbye. Hey, Cecil, Good Cecil, Cecil, before you go, Cecil. What? Something came up. Bye. It's 9.55.
And uh, wrapping up my final morning cruise control with you all. And I got to say, it's been an honor and it's been a pleasure to be able to uh, wake up with you in the mornings. I, I can't say enough. This has been the most rewarding job that I've ever had in my entire life. And uh, my tenure here was, is a time in my life that I will never forget. Uh, I just want to thank everybody that stopped by today. I want to thank everybody uh, that called in. Uh, Grandma, Rod Bradish, uh, D. Mac Patrick, was a slew of people, 374th uh, Sergeant Fackler. We had uh, Mark Sullivan called in, the ladies from FSS Marketing, uh, USO, uh, Japan, USO. Uh, it, it's, it's been great, you know, for everybody that's called in and everybody that's came by and, and all the guests that we've had on regularly. I, I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate each and every one of you. And then to all the listeners, thank you so much. And I just want to remind you all, make sure you be kind, be thankful, and, of course, be dope. And, uh, you know, you got to guard your pockets, people. And, uh, you know, I'll see you again. Um, I really will. So it's, it's been a pleasure. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come along